And I, I just want to get all this stuff out of the way. Drake is coming. Believe me, we about to go ham on Drake. But I, 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 yo, to see the public anger or just the vitriol about a man passing and being like, yo, good riddance and yo, he wasn't shit and this and that and the third. And then I'm like, I really sat back and I really thought about it. I'm like, what did OJ really do that? That we hated him so much. Like, I mean, of course he said he's not black. He's OJ. That was something that he said a long time ago when he was super popular. I think what he was like, we all make mistakes, bro. We all say stuff. I mean, I don't think that there's ever a moment in time where he didn't look in the mirror and understand you know what what what, what space he, he existed in uh you know what I, I think from that just from that statement i think oj simpson was too caught up in the lights and the fame mm -hmm. so yeah. like when what happens is like when you caught up in the lights and the fame you kind of lose your identity and you try right. to try to try to live in this public identity or create an image for the public to accept so it's kind of like um the saying I don't see black or white, right? Like I don't see color, right? right. When, like that's that's just it's not true because to say you you don't see color is to say you don't see the problems that, like, the setback that we've been or 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 mm -hmm. or, or the, the pain that the black um, African American culture that had to go through, right? To say you don't see right. color to say you don't acknowledge what we've been through, right? right. And that's 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 unfair as well, and, and I don't think right. we should be saying that, but. A lot of people subscribe to this. I don't see color because they want to be neutral. And I think when I hear him say, I'm not black, I'm OJ, it's because, like, just for me doing my research, it seems like he was so caught up in what everybody else thought of him, he didn't want people to, to take a side, right? It's like, yo, right. I'm just OJ, let me be me. But you're not right. understanding when you say that, you're still kind of throwing your own people under the bus. Now we're looking at you like, bro, we... We need people like you. We need representations right. that that's that that's in media that that has has a big following that has big names and that's doing positive things before this BS was going on, right? We need right. people like that. So for you to be mm -hmm. like to strip yourself and say I'm not black, I'm OJ. It's like nigga, what? It's like somebody that's from Baltimore saying they're not from Baltimore, right? And 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 at the end of the day, it's like bigger than that, of course, but you know. no, it's definitely bigger than that. <laughs> this man spent a majority of his life. Um, you know, like you said, in, in, in the limelight as a celebrity, whether he was hated as a celebrity or loved as a celebrity, he was a celebrity. He lived in Beverly Hills, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had many, many different women, you know, white, black, Asian, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, I feel like for him to have gone through what he went through with that court case and then him being the avatar for the black community, you know, when he was on that trial, black people were on trial like we there was so much tension about you know what i mean whether you know black people were really vicious like because everybody's every i'm not gonna say every in the white in the world of the united states it just seems like the united states is always looking for a reason to point the finger and say see this is the reason why black people fucked up see oh see see don't you see it? he murdered an innocent white girl so like when that situation happened after the rodney king it, it was so tense bro like i was going to school it was tense like we used to watch this court case because we it almost seemed like if he went to jail we would all go to jail if he caught a death sentence we was going to catch a death sentence so like when that just that day when they were uh trying to you know when they were they were putting out the 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 verdict man like just like when they when they called it like when i tell you you could hear people screaming bills buildings away like my whole school was going nuts you would have thought we was all going to get a check for a million dollars a piece play that clip real quick California County of Los Angeles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 14. California versus Orenthal James Simpson, case number BA 097 This lady praying. We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the Yo, that's real. That's not a movie. This wasn't made up. This wasn't staged. We didn't even understand how to stage shit back in the day. Like this. This shit is real, bro. Like we were, that's how my whole classroom was. Yo, we was jumping up and down. We, I don't know OJ. I never met this nigga. But that's how much that trial we all felt like for once in our lives that we had the ability. Yeah, you know, like not only did number one, you know, what I mean, we hey, we're not the monsters y'all trying to make us out to be. That's number one. Number two, yo, now 
it seems like we are at least inching towards some level of equality. Hey, he got a fair case. Even let's just be real. It was a little unfair and it really wasn't. It was a fair trial. He was acquitted of it. Thank God. Hey, maybe now if something happens and I'm getting accused of something, maybe I might get a fair trial. That's what that case represented for us. Now, everything that came after it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But OJ Simpson was still a man. He did not go out hurting people after that. You know what I mean? I don't care how much stuff y'all have seen in the, uh, in the past. Uh, like they, he went to jail because he tried to steal his own Stuff memorabilia right. back right yeah. somebody had taken a bunch of stuff for it and they started putting it on sale he busted up in there and he tried to get his shit back you know what i mean like that's that's what he went Yo, to can jail i ask you something though like yes, looking back at it i wasn't really i don't think i was old enough to understand what was going on at the time mm -hmm. but uh, and you know sometimes or not sometimes a lot of times media can have their own perception and their own spin on things when they're talking about what happened in the past right mm -hmm. and from all of my research it seems like all of the fingers was pointed to oj that he did do it and he just got away with it because the defense the defense team was so bad and the case was it wasn't good from your perspective i'm hearing it from a different perspective it sounds like our community african americans um when i say our community was kind of rooting for him but now it seems like every, every time i hear people talk about oj i don't i don't feel that it seems like everybody was like nah he did it and they joke about it it it, it doesn't sound like it was this this real thing like how you explained it can you go right. into that some more? Like when you were okay, in school so, when this was going on? Yes, sir. Now I actually have a judge, uh, a, a very popular judge, and he actually made a statement about the case. So now we can see facts about the case, and it's really a short clip. So you can throw that up there whenever you're ready. Did OJ Simpson get away with murder? No, I looked at all the evidence they had and talked to the experts. They never should have brought the charge against him. And four of the chief detectives that were involved in that OJ case wound up doing time in California for planning evidence. And as a matter of fact, if you saw the entire trial, there are several instances where evidence was planted and it's recorded on tape. The main reason the American public thinks she got away with something is because there was a sleaze known as Nancy Grace who's still around. And that was her first reporting thing. And she hyped that and put a lot of falsity out there, and the American public believed it because that was the only person they were here. True I false. saw the entirety of the evidence. Nicole and Rod Goldman got their throat slit from ear to ear, their tongues pulled out of the slit with a pair of pliers. The fatal injury was a stab by a left handed person. OJ was right handed. <laughs> what? The it went in and it did that damage. There were no peripheral strikes. The footprints in the blood showed that somebody with a size nine shoe, nine and a half shoe and somebody with a size nine and somebody with a 10 and a half were there on the scene and did it. One of my late brothers actually was the expert the state was gonna call until he refuted it. The glove man I know personally, the name is Richard Zuckerwar. He took a tracing of everybody's hand. It was a size large glove that fit Furman. And OJ had a 2XL, which was way too big. Johnny Cochran knew that. So if it does not fit, you must acquit. And you can see Furman actually plant the bloody socks on a video that the jury saw that Nancy Grace refused to talk about. The DNA evidence that condemned them, she said, if you saw what went on, and I recorded all of it and looked at it, the experts said, this doesn't exclude 96,000 people in the LA area, and the person that donated this is from the Northeast Mediterranean or Amazing. from Sicily. So, <laughs> if you, all right, so I only played that number one to give y'all facts. This is the facts of the case. So now we didn't get that at the time. Our response to the trial was emotional. Mm. We be we didn't believe because most of our conversations were like, man, he probably killed that white girl. But fuck that shit. That's kind of how our conversation was. Uh, yeah, he might have killed her because there was so much negative stuff coming out about him. And because he didn't do a lot to help his own case.
he would say that. things. He would say things really crazy, things out of turn. I mean, but at the same time, he had just his wife was just killed. He's being blamed for it. He's going through an emotional roller coaster. I get that. But at the time, you're talking about a time when society wasn't as like we weren't as savvy about mental health. So at the time, it's like you start acting crazy. We're like, what the fuck going on with this nigga? You know what I mean? But black people didn't. We that was definitely the, one of those limited times where, as a collective, we didn't no, like. We were never going to publicly say, "Nah, man, he did that shit." We were all like, "Nah, man, like he, we want justice for OJ. Whatever the situation is, we're going to back him up. The whole community's there." You know what I mean? After the fact, and he starts doing goofy stuff. That's when the pub. That's when black people's public face started to go all right bro like you can have them like you know what i'm saying we we just done with it but at the time we were all together it was one of those limited times where it didn't matter whether he did it or not what you weren't gonna do is you weren't gonna throw this man away uh, you know you they would be like we were on some you need to show us him holding that knife for us to be like all right you can go to jail you know what i mean it, it's just crazy because like i don't want to say i understand but we talk about like uh Clout is a hell of a dr drug, and like people do anything mm -hmm. for clout. It seems that he had the, and I said this before. It seems that he had the clout already, but again, when they tried, like he, his image was a good image. Like it was like a good public mm -hmm. figure. He was really good mm -hmm. at football. He was starting mm -hmm. to do acting and things like that. Mm -hmm. He was like this face of African Americans at one point. Mm -hmm. So when when you when you have that and you like it, right, and it's stripped away, and people are trying to like tarnish your name. On one side, I can understand him fighting for his name because that's all I got left. That's all I like, got left. Bro, like, I'm just fighting for my name. But watching it back, it does look bad. Like, you're doing an interview. And, and, and honestly, it only it kind of looks like you're just trying to protect your, yourself. Mm -hmm. You did lose your wife. But like you said, back, back in them times, I didn't even think about that. Back in them times, we're not talking about mental health. We're not mm -hmm. talking about what it can do to somebody, right? Exactly. So we don't know what his mind is like, what his mental mm -hmm. is like. All we know is we got him on camera. We trying to ask him questions. We're, we're interviewing him. We, we just trying to put him back in, a, in, in his media, in the spotlight where mm -hmm. that's honestly one of the things that kind of tore him down. We've seen it with the, right. even with the chase on, on, on live TV in the, in the Bronco. It's, it's almost like mm -hmm. he's calling for attention. So after the trial, when he's doing these interviews and he's talking about him, some would say it's this high level of narcissism, right? Mm -hmm. But again, when we don't think, when we, we're not looking deep into like his mental state, what is his mental state? This man was up here mm -hmm. and now we're talking about him killing someone. Now he's down here. So it's kind of like a battle to fight between me defending myself, but me mm -hmm. also wanting to mourn my wife mm -hmm. and understanding that me and my wife had issues as every couple do. Right. So because it seems like he was trying to be honest with, 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 with everything like, yo, like, yeah, I did these things. We had problems. I hurt her. You know what I'm saying? But she also hurt me. So when we're doing these interviews it's like him being honest. But now mm -hmm. you have the public perception. Right. Exactly. Like, now it's like, oh, he don't seem like he 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 he's sorry for losing his wife. He, he don't he don't seem uh, he, empath not empathetic, but he don't seem sympathetic of the situation. All he seems to care about is himself. It's like, man, right. we don't know how this man is fit. Like, you don't know what's going on. And you got to understand, like, this was a this was a new thing in in the world. Like uh, this was the first this was the first time in in the history of the world. A a, a murder case was televised worldwide. Mm -hmm. This was the first time you were the, the public and the news was allowed access to the trial to be in the courtroom so we are sitting there watching the court proceedings so you're talking about this man being elevated so and you got to remember he's in the eye of the storm he doesn't understand the impact internationally right. he's and you got to remember that back then celebrities were insulated insulated to the point where yo if it's negative don't show it to him don't put it on the TV. You know what I mean? He's just moving around Hollywood, living his life, going to parties, and people that know him are still showing him love. People that rock with him still rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? So he might see a little bit of people being a little different, but for the most part, he was just living his life. So when you see him after the fact and he's going on these different shows and he's just like, yeah, it's all good. A lot of that is keeping a good face. 
And but some of it is naivete. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They did an actual, they did like a uh like a film about him, and they were talking about that. That like they he seemed like he didn't really understand everything. I'm not saying he was stupid, but like there was a point where he was like, yo, all right, they proved that I'm not guilty. All right, life gonna go on back to normal. And it's like, no, you're never but, gonna go back to what he's But even to still to the point where it's like you see the man lost everything and mm -hmm. tried everything in his power to get it back. For example, yeah. Even like if, if we had PR back in that day, they probably would say writing a book, especially if I did kill her, right? Like the confessions of a killer, like if I did, it's probably like the worst thing you can do, right? Nice. But it's like, man, I don't, like you said, it's naive. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't have anything. Everybody's saying I did do it. Let me capitalize. Let me make some money back because like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> It was a New York Times bestseller, bro. You, we could talk about how horrible of an idea it is. Everybody ran to that book just because they wanted to see what was going on. So it worked to a certain extent. I mean, it worked and I made some money, but it buried you reputation wise. It buried right. you socially. You know what I mean? And once again, that not either not giving a fuck or not knowing the impact. Did the book Look. come before or after the civil case? Uh, After the civil case. Because even you, then, I'm thinking, like, I, I, I didn't even understand. It's like you take this man to court. He beat the legal charges, right? He don't he get acquitted. But then you right. take him to court again for civil just to, again, throw dirt on his name, uh, almost. Like, if we didn't get, get the last of his money from him. Yeah. I don't know. This, it's a cold world out here. It's a cold world. Can I world. ask you this question, though? Go ahead, brother. Now Go that ahead. You're older, now that you're older, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it kind of leave you with some type of yes. unease, not knowing <laughs> if he did it or not, and he just passed? Oh no, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all. Uh, man, may that man rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I hope that us as a, I, I, and I'm really saying as a black community, like yo, we gotta start, we gotta stop jumping to so many conclusions about stuff without getting facts. And I'm like, we see stuff in passing and automatically you just start laying judgment on people. Uh, even in our comments, when we were talking about different topics and just seeing how, you know, people just go get so polarized about certain things. You'd be like, bro, y'all need to calm the hell down. Like, you know what I'm saying? And just enjoy. Like, y'all need to understand that. Like, it's not our place to even understand whether he did it or not. How does that change our lives? It doesn't. How does it affect anything? No, it doesn't change one thing. The only but thing you know, you we're so invested about. We can't just say that, especially being in the media, especially some ones like ourselves having a podcast. We mm -hmm. can't say that because we make our money from people being invested in our ideas, mm -hmm. people being Correct. invested in right. what's going on. Right. So that's easy to say. Right? right. That's easy to say. But I understand from a public perception because people are invested in people's lives. Mm hmm. Right. So it's like for those who, 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 who are invested, it's like I can see some type of unease to them, like not knowing what happened. It's like you just left. It's like, do you feel like OJ going to come out the grave and come? No, stand no, I don't care. I, I don't care. I'm just saying I, I can see how people it, it's like it's like uh, somebody texting you saying, yo, we need to talk and y'all never get a chance to talk. It's like, what the? F right. right? <laughs> No, 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 I, that would be different. But like, you know what I mean? Somebody like Caitlyn Jenner coming out and, and saying the stuff he said after he murdered somebody, it was just like, nigga, pot calling the kettle back bullshit. 